Lambda functions with sort, filter, map, and reduce. In this section, you're going to see Lambda functions being used in conjunction with methods and functions. Firstly, you'll see it being used for the key of the sort method of lists, then to create the filter to filter iterables with filter, the function being applied to all the elements of an iterable using map, and the function being applied cumulatively to all the elements of an iterable using reduce. Firstly, the sort method of lists. As you can see from the definition here, sort has two parameters, key, which is none by default, and reverse, which is false by default. We will not be altering reverse, but we will be looking at key, as we can use a lambda expression to alter the behavior of sort. Sort method sorts the list in place using only less than or greater than comparisons between items. Lambda functions allow us to extend key to become much more versatile. Here's a quick example below. We have a list of names. We use a lambda expression to split the names and then sort by the surname, which is the last element of the list. Now let's see that code in action. So here you can see a list of names, in this case, command module pilots, in the Apollo program. And if we sort it, it will be sorted, as you'd expect, in alphabetical order, starting with the first letter. So let's see that in action. And you can see we start out with Michael Collings being first in the list. And after it's sorted, Alfred Warden is first in the list. Stuart Ruser is last in the list. What if we wanted to sort it by surname? Well, what we need to do is to use a lambda expression to split each entry up into separate elements and then pass this to sort. And that's fairly easy to do with a lambda expression. So again, we pass key a lambda expression. Again, I'll choose X, it could be any letter. And we're going to go X dot split and that will split each entry up into separate words. And then we want to send it the last one, which is indexed with minus one. Now we're passing the surname of each of these astronauts to sort, and it will sort them by that. Let's see that in action. And now you can see they're sorted by order. Collins, Evans, and so on, all the way up to Warden. So by default, this list of people will be sorted by the first entry alphabetically. So it'd be sorted by name. So it would be this character, which is taken into account first, etc. Now, just as an aside, I've done this as a list of tuples with curve brackets purely so you can see this more easily how they are differentiated. So if you have a list of lists, it would work exactly the same way, but it's a little harder to make it out on screen. And it's important that you can see what's going on and not be confused about what you're seeing. So if you apply the sort method, that will sort them by their first name in this case. So we're going to print out the list before and then print out the list afterwards. And see that run. So here you can see that sort has sorted this original list in alphabetical order of that first entry. So here's our sorted version, and you can see it's Gerald, then Joe, Karen, then Steve. So just alphabetical order. But that is not what we want to do. So now going back to the code. So sort takes the argument key. And here we can put in the lambda expression, lambda x in this case, and then you're going to set x to be the second element of each item on the list. So this would be here because the second element is there, and of course it's zero indexed. So running this code now gives the result we're looking for. You can see 
is sorted by age 28, 35, 58 and 72. Lambda expressions can be used to obtain properties of objects for sorting as well. So we're going to have a small example here. Firstly, a class called person will be set up, which takes a name and an age. And the Dunder method repper is also going to be defined to allow us to see these objects more clearly. Now we can create some instances of the class. And then put them in a list. We can print that list and then try to sort it. And once we've tried to sort it, we can print it out again. Let's see that running. Ah, you can see we have a problem. And once you think about it, it makes sense. There's no way for sort to know what it should sort on, as these objects aren't something it understands. We need to allow it to do that by using a lambda function. Here we'll put in the parameter key, pass it a lambda function, which in this case is going to be the age of each of our people. If we run it now, you can see they're now sorted by age. We could just as easily do it using their name. And running again, they're sorted by name, not age.